Hey, Science Seekers, this is Mr. Pfeiffer. Mr. Pfeiffer is here with some of his family members today. We're having a family uh, get together. And this is Juliana, my niece. Thompson is our cameraman today. And then this is uh, Lydia as well. She's our other niece, okay? So Mr. Pfeiffer is gonna go ahead and do a read aloud today on Revolution Evolution. It's about animals and how they change over time. And the chapter that we're gonna focus on is one called Missing Links. Missing Links is one of my favorite ones. So as I talk about this, we're gonna be learning about animals that change over time and how they're connected to animals that are here today, okay? So, are we ready to read the book, everyone? Yeah, yeah, ready? I have popcorn. Oh, nice, all right, Missing Link. One of the biggest problems Darwin faced in his theory of evolution were gaps in the fossil record that showed evolutionary changes. Geology was a new science at the time, and dating rocks of fossils was difficult. Since then, many new discoveries have been made that are helping to fill in the gaps. This says, written in stone. This page from an 1880 book shows how naturalists and geologists attempted to match the fossils they had found to the sequence of rocks in their area. Now these are a couple of my favorites. See this one? This is the ancestor to the birds. It's a dinosaur, but do you see how it has feathers in it? It's yeah. called Archaeopteryx. One of the first missing links to be found was Archaeopteryx, a winged fossil that showed a change or transition from dinosaurs turning into birds. A number of other fossils have since been found, including a non-flying dromosaur that was downy feathers and head to tail, suggested the feathers first of, may have evolved as a way to keep the bird warm. So just like that, just like a fur keeps an animal warm, like a mammal, birds probably originally had feathers to help keep them warm. The last one we're gonna learn about is one of my favorites we learned a lot about in my class, in science class, is one called Tiktaalik. And this is in the Natural the Field Museum in uh, Chicago. Tiktaalik is a transitional form between a fish and a walking, basically, pteropod or lizard. Shows how this fish pod had developed wrists and finger bones that enable it to prop itself on its fins. Holes on the top of its head suggest, which means that it tells us, that it may have breathed air through its primitive lungs, right in those holes, right there, okay? And then again, here's the difference between all the different species and how we all have the same bones inside of our head, right in here, right in here, this little part are these bones right here, see them? Those same bones are in your ear right here, and they're in the ear of a fish, they're in the ear of an amphibian and a reptile, and all of those bones are still there to this day in every one of these kinds of animals. All right, this is Mr. Pfeiffer saying goodbye. Take care, guys. We'll see you at the next Science Seeker episode. Bye. Peace.